So, Michael, um, being a part of the um, Alien movie, yeah. and of course Ridley Scott, and you work now with so many good directors. What is different with Ridley? What was different with that movie? The experience you had. Um, I think maybe it's a gener generational thing, perhaps, but Ridley sort of got this incessant sort of drive and energy. Um, which uh, I found also with Terence Malick, uh, and maybe it's something to do with that post-World War II generation where they, you know, their fathers came back from being heroes in the war and, um, and being part of something major in our history, and perhaps whatever they, uh, they approached, they did with, with absolute commitment. And um, he's, you know, he's a one-off uh, because he's a master, uh, an all-round master of, of storytelling. So, you know, coming from the advertising world uh, originally, you know, shooting hundreds of, uh, of commercials himself to being the great filmmaker that we know today. But I'll give you an example of what, what sort of separates him from, from a lot of others. Is the, is the, um, I don't know, did you see any of the virals that go out with, uh, in connection with this? Mm -hmm. So he hires a young team in London which are super innovative uh, that come up with these concepts. And... Nobody's really doing that, uh, and it's a great opportunity to advertise uh, a story without giving away any of the story. Mm -hmm. and, and I just love that, and I think, you know, again, he's at the forefront, you know, he's, he, that, that's a very youthful, young idea and forward-thinking idea, and, um, and he, he's doing it. I think he, he's, his knowledge of, of, of how to make a film and, and each department within the film is, is also second to none. Watching him uh, talk to department heads uh, and be able to speak their language, uh, it's pretty impressive. But don't you also have as an actor the same feeling that, um, the o I mean it in a positive way, the yeah. older you get, the better you get because there's the experience, also the, your life experience, which you yeah. always bring in. Did you do you feel even because you film a lot, you know, you're in a lot of movies, so mm. did you get the feeling also you're more comfortable, you're more yourself? Definitely more today? relaxed, you know. I mean that I think that comes with anything you get to sort of, you know, work in front of a camera. You know, the originally when I worked in front of a camera and the map box was so scary and you think to yourself, you know, oh my God. Uh, and most people behave differently when you put a camera on them. Mm. Getting used to that relationship for sure over the years, but then it all depends. You know, you can become complacent, lazy, uh, uh, you know, and then you don't put in the work, and then you know performances suffer. I guess or not. You know, um, it. I think it depends on your outlook. And the great thing about Ridley is that his passion is just you know on fire. You know, so I don't know when Ridley doesn't work. You know, any time I speak to him, he's either in pre-production, on set, or editing. So. Um, he just loves filming, yeah. And I, I suppose that inspires you also, but how do you keep your fire burning? That you always, you know, like what you said, that you don't get like, oh, I know it, it's routine. But yeah. how did, do you keep, how do you keep yourself inspired? I guess two things, you know, I'm passionate about what I do. I love my job. And I also realize how privileged I am. Uh, you know, that it's, uh, you know, I'm a, in a one percentile scenario. There's plenty of excellent actors out there that are not getting the opportunities that I'm getting. So uh, I, I try to, you know, keep that in mind and, and, and not let the, you know, not let that pass me by. Mm. And you just said that Ridley also uses VR and, and things like that, but you're not even, uh, you're not in on social media, I think, right? Or is no. all the accounts, they are fake? Oh, yeah. Um, there is one account that I'm part of DMC. I think I've opened up uh, official accounts so people can't say that they're the official account. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody has done that. Uh, I don't spend time on social media, but I see its benefits for sure. I, I, you know, I understand why people do. Are you tempted to do it in the future? I'm actually just really, again, feel very lucky that I don't have to. A lot of young actors now will have to, you know, if they get, if they have more followers than the one that came in the door before, they might get the job. So I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to.